Hi, it's Bruce, and welcome to my Rocky Mountain Lab. What we're looking at right now is a an ESI 230B resistance bridge. And this is an extremely accurate bridge capable of reading from milliohms up to 12 gigohms with something like 0.01% or better accuracy. And uh, Basically, the way it works, you feed in a, a power source, uh, you power the bridge, you plug in your unknown element into the bridge, and then you adjust the bridge. Well, first of all, there's a, um, a range selection switch over here. Changes the range, but you look for a range where a null meter that's applied to the output starts to come back to zero, one way or the other. And you would adjust the uh, the switches here, like I just did. You can see as I adjust the switch, the meter goes a little wacky. But that's the idea. And then you uh, you find a balance point, uh, adjusting all of the switches, and then this pot to where you hit zero. And when you hit zero on the null meter, you can just read your resistance right off of the front panel. I'm going to open this thing up, give you a look at the inside of it. I'm going to clean the switches. And then we're going to run some tests on it uh, just to see how we fare. Okay, well, I've opened up the uh, resistance bridge. And I went through and uh, cleaned the switches once again. I used... Um, denatured alcohol to do that. Very high alcohol content, almost no water in it at all. And uh, made sure I also clean the uh, the upper surface of the wire pot here. Got that nice and clean and the uh, switches for the um, uh, range multiplier. And we'll go back and uh, put her back in the box and take a look at the results. Okay, well, we've got this 90,000 ohm 0.01% resistor plugged into this uh, resistance bridge, an ESI 230B. We've got this differential uh, null meter on the output, and we've balanced the bridge so that the output is zero at a very low level. I think we were reading 50 microvolts full scale. It's uh, actually sensitive to static in the area here even. But what I'm getting is uh, 90,000 12 ohms. And I've got zero. And uh, yeah, so 90,012. Let's see how that reads on our Hewlett Packard 34401A. Okay, well, the Hewlett Packard's been connected for a bit, and it's flashing between 90,013 and 90,014. I'm going to take the 13. And if I do that, then we're saying that we're about 1 ohm difference out of 90,000. And if that's the case, 1 divided by 90,000 uh, times 100, 0 0.00111. So basically a thousandth of a percent. So my Hewlett Packard 34401 and my resistance bridge differ by about a thousandth of a percent, which is remarkable. I mean, that uh, resistance bridge has got to be, um, take a wild guess and say it's uh, 50 years old. And uh, this Hewlett Packard is like, tops uh, 20. So uh, pretty interesting. 
Well, I ran a test on uh, three different resistors. All of them reported to be 0.01% in value. I had a 1 million ohm resistor, a 90,000 ohm, and a 50,000 ohm. And what I found was that the uh, 230B gave me a resistance reading that was closer to the reading on the resistance itself uh, than did the HP. Not by a lot, but let's take a look here. Um, at the million ohms, uh, my 230B read 0.011% lower in differential than did the HP. So uh, the 230B told me that I was within 0.001% of a megohm, uh, whereas the HP said I was 0 0.01. So, I mean, there was considerable difference there by a factor of like 10. So I was 0.011% lower on the, uh, in the uh, differential on the 230B than I was the HP. Going to 90,000 ohms, uh, we were looking at um, uh, a difference of 0.013%. So I was a hundredth of a percent out on uh, the 230B as compared to the resistance itself, or the way it was marked. But the HP was 0 0.016, so there was a 0.003% difference, so three thousandth of a percent difference between the two devices. And then at 50,000, we were 0 0.002, or two thousandth of a percent. So they actually agreed very, very closely uh, at 50 and 90,000. It was at the megohm that the HP kind of veered off and I've noticed that before when I get around a megohm and higher I I don't get good readings on the uh, on the HP interesting uh, but this is actually uh, going along with uh, what I've read about the um, uh, the 230B and its capabilities if I was to bring up a little blurb I had on it uh, this says that um, the ESI model 230B resistance bridge is an extremely accurate, high-resolution, guarded Wheatstone bridge. The bridge will measure a continuous range of resistance values between 0 and 12 gigohms, it's 12,000 megohms, with a resolution of 10 microohms, micro ohms, per dial division on the lowest range. A five-place direct readout combined with 11 ranges enables the operator to make leakage resistance measurements in thousands of megohms or contact resistance measurements in milliohms with equal ease. The internal switching and interconnection circuit is arranged to eliminate sources of error found in many conventional Wheatstone bridge circuits. A DC power source and DC t detector for observing a null balance are necessary to operate the bridge. So this was from a uh, military manual. So there you go. Um, I'm quite happy with the purchase and I will be using this probably as my resistance uh, measurement device for when I'm uh, trying to be extremely accurate. I'll still be using the HP for faster readings. All right.